right, everybody. Good morning, whatever time of day it is where you are. Welcome to this reading. Let's see where we go today. Um, some of you have been asking about private readings. I have not done private readings for some time, but uh, I have a group of very talented private readers on my website. If you want a private reading, there's a link to the uh, website below. All right. If you want to learn to read tarot from me, there's also a link in the description box below. So check that out. Let's see where we're going today. All right. Deep breath, everybody. Deep breath. Gratitude. I am getting this divine feminine energy, a lot of powerful. Uh, this is Cancerian energy with home. A lot of power. Oh, look at that. Protection. Indeed. And transmute. So some of you are um, aligning with your new karmic path. I did an ancestor reading yesterday and I talked a lot about how um, the ground is shifting underneath where you are because you are being empowered, because you're shifting into a new way of being in the world and different timeline, new timeline. So it feels a lot better. I do think that some of you don't know how protected you are. Your home is protected. Your home base, whatever that is to you, is protected. Your body is protected uh, because you're going to be asked to do something very, um, I mean, outside of your comfort zone. So you should know that you have this protection. It's almost like a, I, I just envision this like bubble around you and not in a bad way, right? It lets through um, information, messages to empower information that is going to be necessary uh, for life on this new timeline in this new uh, planetary experience that we're all sharing There's something here about also about um, having gratitude for the divine feminine on this planet. So I do feel that the collective of us, those of us who align with divine feminines, uh, we are going to be owed a massive debt of gratitude in the future uh, because of the work we're doing. And I'm feeling here that there is a big shift and change. Actually, so 44. This is a 44 card. And in my book, it is a master card of building uh, beyond the two. Two is a master builder. 22 is a master builder. But this is more of a universal or um, uh, global, planetary, intergalactic kind of building. We're making some real strides on this planet. And um, I don't know if I mentioned it to you. I Today in Pathfinders, we are going to be talking about synchronicities. And one of the synchronicities I have noticed is that usually I see multiple numbers all the time, you know, 111 or 222, 333. Right now I'm only seeing 444. Four, four. And all of those other number sequences are like one click off. So 112 or 223 or, you know, 556 five, or something like that. There's just one click off, one digit that's off. And what that's saying is like, things are almost falling into place for this massive undertaking. Um, Divine Feminine is going to be given a lot of gratitude or paid. Uh, it's a debt to be paid. And the Divine Feminine is kind of subsuming that. I'm getting that word of like, um, the de the uh, divine feminine is taking the debt on and like transmuting it into wisdom, transmuting it into fire, passion, uh, power. Okay. So taking something that isn't really very good or nice. And it's almost like the magic of the divine feminine is just making it, um, uh, accessible for other people. So this can be a new timeline. This can be a new way of being in the world. And it's our job as the divine feminines who are identifying as divine feminines to really, um, 
master this so that we can either teach other people or we can uh, um, invite other people to transmute their whole experience or mm, we're transmuting it, the divine feminine's transmuting it so that other people can like um, wake up. We're making it safe for other people to wake up. The divine protection extends from us. We're making it safe for other people to wake up. Oh yeah, that's what the star is. That's the healing power. Page of cups, four of wands, knight of wands, and this queen of cup energy. Oh, and here's the empress. Can't say no to the, the empress, divine feminine. Um, so there's something here about, because this is also home, four of wands. There is some kind of shifting of our home some kind of awareness of where we come from, um, some kind of loving, you know, the feeling of home is that you're accepted and that it's peaceful. And that's what the divine feminine is doing on this planet is making this planet habitable or making wherever, whatever we are building for the future, making it feel like home. Wow. That's a big mission for the collective, for the divine feminine collective. Chariot. It's Cancerian energy too. Eight of swords. King of swords. The way forward isn't clear. Not right now. Um, there's a lot of energy behind this. I feel like on the planet, divine feminine has um, um, sort of turned on some kind of switch or hit the ignition or something like that, that is going to allow us to move forward, but there's not a clear path. All right. There's not a clear path right now. There will be King of Swords. There will be a lot of clarity. That's also um, Aquarian energy about seeing the bigger vision. So we're kind of, uh, we're um, working with this big vision and making it feel like home to people or making, uh, making something um, accessible to people. Four of swords. Yes. Ace of pentacles. Oh, the emperor. 10 of swords, eight of wands, devil energy. Um, I talked about this too yesterday in that ancestor reading about Pluto and this is Capricorn. This is Saturn. We know Saturn's in retrograde in Pisces right now. We also have Pluto. Plutonic energy is the higher octave of Mars. Pluto is, um, and um, Pluto rules Scorpio energy. So Capricorn, I'm seeing Capricorn here. I'm seeing Aquarius. I'm seeing a lot of the, um, the energy of the last three signs. Aquarius, Aquarius, Capricorn, Pisces, where's Pisces? So Pisces is kind of the, the, is not kind of, Pisces is the last sign and Pisces energy is about bringing us home to God, bringing us in alignment with our spiritual natures. Okay. So right now we're doing the work of the vision and it's the divine feminine that's doing the work of the vision. This is, um, Taurus and Libra energy. So making something real and tangible, making something anchored that is balanced. We're letting go of a lot of ideas as a collective that we have, that have held us back and not making any bones about it. So there's some, there are some belief systems that are going to get kind of um, churned up in this divine feminine, um, uh, creating a new home for all of us. There's going to be some uh, belief systems that, that get, like knocked out of the box or um, put to some kind of test that they can't withstand. Whatever that is, whatever that belief system is, doesn't have to be religion or political or, um, I don't know. I'm just, my hands are just like vibrating right now. There's something here about whatever has held you back, whatever you believe to be the truth, but it has held you back. That is the thing that you're personally churning up or you're personally kind of, it's almost like um, I'm getting this image of a rototiller 
right? And uh, at my last house, we rototilled in all of this very rich uh, soil, very um, uh, life-giving kind of soil into our front yard. I can't remember what we were doing. We're making a, you know, a bed for flowers or something like that. And there was something about that. We're like introducing something nurturing. And I feel like that's what the divine feminine is doing. So there's a gardening reference here. It's like creating, creating the uh, fodder, creating the foundation for the new um, energetic experience to flourish. For the new vision to flourish. And we do have Pluto in retrograde right now. It's going back into Capricorn in September. So there's something here that we are ending that might be revived in September, October. What is this? The devil energy. Ace of Cups, Three of Wands. Oh, look at that. Five of Wands and the Moon. Um, so something about... This new path, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, very loving, very generous, very, um, you know, sort of a vision of the future that a lot of people will benefit from. And there's going to be a fuss, a struggle, five of wands uh, around fear. There's going to be some kind of fear raised in September, October, some kind of fear the moon and the five of wands, knight of pentacles, that's Virgo energy, temperance energy, king of pentacles, and the two of swords. I've, you know, it can be, it can be around a lot of things. It can be around money, the way money works. There can be some kind of upheaval around the way money works. There can be some upheaval around how we love or who we love or something like that. Um, I see here Virgo energy and Taurus energy. So there's some, uh, there's some um, existing paradigm that we need to reckon with that isn't kind or loving or any of this stuff that the divine feminine is trying to do. It's a belief system. It's uh, and some people are benefiting from it, but others, a lot of others are not. It's just that sense of, what is good for a small number of people is is not good for the collective. It's almost like a reckoning of some ideas that might have been hatched 20, 30, 50 years ago that we're seeing now the fallout of it. We're seeing now that it's not actually good for people. It's not actually good for all of us as a as a species, as a um a people as a society, whatever it is, the divine feminine is coming in to bring in some new earth. Okay. Bring in some kind of, because we're talking about earth here, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. So the feminine, the feminine, the energy of love, this is the very rich earth that the divine feminine is rototilling in. Okay. Rototilling in how we live our lives so that we can plant things that are sustainable. So this could have to do with actual gardening, farming, planting. There's some kind of sustainability that the feminine is embracing and is bringing onto the planet. Now that is a very big picture kind of um, look at this tarot reading. I feel like on a personal level, you might have some experience of either relationships that have dried up or ways of being in your life that have become unsustainable. Um, you, as your, we all have divine feminine in us. Some of us are on this planet to do things for the collective. Others are here to um, till in that soil, that rich, vibrant, um, nurtured soil that has a lot of nutrients in it, a lot of um, a lot of good things for our physical bodies in it, and we're now seeing that the way forward is to um, sort of, um, what's the word? It's to like bring new life to the foundation of things. Okay. It's to bring this, this nourishing um, energy, this, um, this life force 
to the foundation of things. So some of you, in terms of relationships, you might want to, you might be the person that's bringing something more nourishing to the table as it relates to a, a partner you have or a, or a friend or a boss or a parent or a colleague or something like that. It's like up to the divine feminine to bring in um, these nutrients. And use this kind of earth energy in a different way. Okay, it's not going to be the way it was before where only a small number of people benefited from um, mending the soil, right? A small number of people. It's going to be more about how do we en enrich, enrich the soil so that we can all grow something more positive for our life or we can be in that energy, more visionary energy. And I feel like there's going to be some people who are not going to like this because they benefited from the old paradigm. The new paradigms, we've been talking about this for a few years, right? So as Pluto moved through Capricorn, it took out or tried to take out um, paradigms that no longer worked. And for who? Like for, you know, if it was unsustainable, Pluto, the great transformer, like brings it into the underworld and, you know, um, removes it from the planet, just removes it. So we saw the banks upended in 2008. We saw a lot of things in our own personal life, depending on where it is in your chart, wherever Capricorn is, uh, wherever uh, Aquarius and Capricorn meet, that's where Pluto is right now. Pluto's at one degree of Aquarius. So it's like I'm ser in service of the vision. And then it's going to move back into Capricorn. And it's going to say, what needs to be upended? What needs to be pulled out? The weeds need to be pulled out. And I feel like also there's a there's a sense of the divine feminine birthing something new with this ace of pentacles and this four of swords coming from a very spiritual place. I do see the masculine joining in with this emperor energy, making some kind of offer with the, the uh, ace of cups and the three of wands. And then there's some kind of clash, okay, around, it can be around a full moon in Aries. So that is happening, full moon in Aries is happening, I believe in September, I'll take a look for the extended, some kind of uh, full moon in Aries energy about, okay, we're now to the place where the rubber's hitting the road energetically and Anything that has been um, not nurturing is going to be ended. Anything that has not been collectively more vi uh, vibrant or, and I just want you to know, if you are uh, aligning yourself as a divine feminine, you are being protected to help do this work on the planet to bring a more nourishing kind of experience. So your job personally may be to bring more nourishment to the people around you, uh, pull out the weeds, um, upend relationships that have um, a mindset of draining or of only one person being the one who benefits from the relationship, like those things going. The divine feminine is transmuting um, anything that is viable giving more nourishment to that and allowing it to grow. Anything that is not done, done. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go deeper into this reading. If this is your reading, if you feel aligned with this, there's a link below, uh, let's continue. I'm gonna look at what we don't see coming. I'm gonna get deeper into this Ace of Pentacles, what this can be, and um, we'll get some uh, guidance for spirit and see how this comes out. All right. Link is below if you want to continue on with me. I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos. <laughs>